What is the transportation like in Calgary? Today, I'm gonna to be talking to you about all the different types of transportation that you can find here in Calgary, including any transportation options that the city of Calgary provides, plus any private companies that have come in like Uber. Ryan Hawkins and I'm a local real estate agent here in Calgary with EXP Realty and today as I said in my intro we are talking about the different type of transportation options that Calgary has to offer. If you've been on my channel before welcome back and if you are new to my channel thanks for tuning in and make sure you subscribe, like and turn on that notification bell to be notified about my next video. I'm starting to upload more videos weekly now so stay tuned and I'll be pumping out more content for you. Now getting on with the video, I'm going to be talking about the different options that the city of Calgary has to offer. Now, if you are someone that lives in a larger city, then you might be slightly disappointed of what the city of Calgary has to offer, say as such as if you lived in London, England, where is a lot more connective and extensive network. But here in Calgary, it's actually pretty decent. We have the LRT, which is the light rapid transit system. Now at the moment, we only have two train systems, the red line and the blue line. However, the city of Calgary and the province of Alberta have plans in place to build us a third line, which will be the green line. Now, unfortunately, there have been some delays and it is unlikely that construction is gonna start this year in 2021. But in 2022, we should start to see some construction going on for that green line to be getting built, which is very exciting. I'm excited to see that. I'm a big believer in trains and getting people from A to B a lot quicker, a lot easier. Easier, so this is gonna be a big massive win for Calgary now we also have the public bus system which includes the BRT which is the bus rapid transit system which is a more of an express bus system that connects from the inner city to the outer suburbs now if you're fortunate enough to live in one of these communities that offer one of these transportation systems such as the LRT or the BRT you're in luck it's actually quite good it connects you to the downtown core all the way out to the outer suburbs now, I have talked about videos before about where you should potentially live in Calgary with these being one of the questions that you should ask yourself. Do you need the transportation system? I'm gonna link it up here in the card for you to check out and make that decision a little bit easier for you. Now, Calgary also has something called the Plus 15 Walkways. Now, these Plus 15 Walkways are a connection of bridges that connect different buildings within the city center where you don't have to go outside at all which is a very good thing to have especially in the winter when it gets to about minus 40 yes that does happen um, if you want to see what the weather is like here in calgary click this card up here which talks about the different types of seasons and what type of weather you can expect to have here in the city now with these plus 15 walkways it is 18 kilometers of network that you can see across 62 different bridges so if you do work downtown or you have to go from building to building to building this is something that is a very good bonus to have when working downtown now moving on to the different private companies that are here in the city such as uber we will start with at we do have uber which is amazing as always i've always used uber all the time it is a great way to get from a to b quite quickly for a relatively cheap cost now something new that happened here in the city about two years ago we got electric scooters these are the best thing to come to the city I love using these electric scooters you can find three different electric scooter companies here in the city which is lime bird and roll now I haven't had the chance to use roll which came out in the summer of 2020 and there wasn't a whole lot of it I think it was more of a pilot project going on so I didn't have that option however I've used both bird and lime my personal preference is to go with lime this might just be because there's a lot more of them, it's more extensive, and to be honest with you, I just think they're overall better and the interface is just easier to use. Biggest reason for why I love these scooters is that they can really just take you anywhere. Just find yourself a bike lane and it will take you to wherever you need to go and you're good. Now, let's say you have some errands to run, you don't have a car, and you obviously need to go outside of, say, the city center. Uh, you're picking things up like groceries or you're picking up some furniture or anything like that. You're going to need a car. Now, here in Calgary, they used to have a company called car to go which means you could have just rented a car, which was either a Mercedes, if you're fancy, or a smart car, which wasn't my go-to, I thought it was weird. However, that company did leave and now we have something called Commune Auto or Communito, I call it Commune Auto. This is a really good car share option that you can use. 
Now, when I first moved to Calgary, I didn't have a car, so these car share options were a very good option for me if I needed to go, say, to Ikea to get some furniture, or if I was doing a large grocery haul, or if I just wanted to check out a new area in the city that didn't have a train or an extensive bus network. Now, Commune Auto is good, but make sure you read their website on where you're allowed to park and end your trip. I made this mistake where I parked in a two hour parking, which was allowed. However, it was a tow zone between certain hours. So no one used the car after I used it. The car ended up getting towed. I ended up having to pay out $215 and waiting three hours just to get access back to the car. So make sure you're really reading the signs of where you're allowed to park and where you can end your trip. All right, everyone, that's all I have for you today. I hope that helped you out on the different type of transportation options here in Calgary. And I wanna know from you, let me know down in the comments, what is your favorite type of transportation option here in the city and how you get around the city. Until then, we will see you at the next video. Take care.